Question 22. Which explanation for the variation in volatility down group 17 is correct? Okay, so first, uh, you need to know what is uh, volatility, okay, which means uh, ability for the uh, compound to evaporate. So which means uh, it's going to overcome the uh, intermolecular forces, uh, the Van der Waals forces. Okay, so first we need to know uh, this halogen, chlorine, bromine, iodine, they are non-polar. So for non-polar molecules, they are going to have induced dipole forces or we call instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces. If the molecule is a polar molecule, then they is, they're going to have permanent dipole, permanent dipole forces. Another thing you need to know is when down the group, we know that the size will, la will become larger because more electron shells. When the size is larger, then the ID-ID forces is greater. So we know that the ID-ID forces between the iodine molecules is the greatest among these three. So therefore, iodine is actually in solid form. And chlorine is gas, bromine is liquid. Okay, so from here, roughly we know what is the main explanation for this volatility. Okay, A. Instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces between molecules become stronger. Yeah. So it because of this ID ID forces, when it's down the group, it becomes stronger, then it will be less volatile. Okay, so answer is A. Okay, B cannot be the answer because uh, it's not about permanent dipole, permanent dipole. Okay, as the chlorine, bromine, ionine, they are non-polar, so they don't have the PDPD. Okay, C is about bond energy uh, in the this uh, Q2 molecules, means a uh, chlorine, bromine, iodine molecule. Uh, bond energy is not about volatile. How volatile is it? Okay, the volata uh, volatility is depends on the intermolecular force, but not the covalent bond, right? So therefore, this one, okay, is not a good explanation. And the first IE also, it cannot explain the this uh, volatility, because it's the removal of electrons from the uh, atom. Okay, so this one also cannot be accepted. So answer confirm is A. Okay, that's all. Thank you.